Hi everyone, welcome to More Light TV. Thank you for joining us. Um, so there is this trending news. People's Gazette reported that they cited CJN Ariwola, you know, disguising on a wheelchair in London, going for um, a secret meeting with Bolatino in an hotel. So this, this a Supreme Court source disclosed this and said that and the CGN Harry Waller is meeting with Tinumbu secretly, you know, in London, in an hotel in London. You know, this man has had to disguise as if he's on a wheelchair, you know, so that people would not easily identify him. He, he pretended as if he's physically challenged and is an old man, you know. So everyone has been talking about this, that... um. Obviously, the traveling that Tenobu went to do in London is not for medical purposes. He actually went to see and arrange with the CJN Ariwala, you know, concerning the law lawsuit filed against them by the um, LP party and the PDP. You know, and this keep um this keep creating different agitation, different suspicion about the fact that our our judiciary might have been compromised the same way INEC has been compromised. I mean, these Tinubu seem to be 360 degree full of um, corrupt practices and shady things. Imagine him, you know, quickly going to arrange with um, the Chief Justice of Nigeria again to help him give judgment in his favor. I mean, for how long will he continue to run Elter Skelter like this, trying to use money to buy everyone? They've wiped out everything that our democracy, you know, stood for. Now in Nigeria, democracy is about to end. Democracy is about to be finished completely by Tinumbu and his APC court. They, it's like they don't want democracy to thrive. They've killed everything. Everything about legitimacy, everything about justice. I mean, they've compromised virtually all the institutions of government. And one thing about Tinubu's AIDS is that they lie so much. They lie so much. They said he was going for medical treatment. You know, and there is this talk about Tinubu built Lagos, Tinubu built Lagos. How come Tinubu built Lagos, but he forgot to build a world-class hospital in the same Lagos where he can always go to attend um, medical care, you know? But really, when you look at it, each time he travels to London, it's for one jumbo jumbo purpose. He's going there to, you know, corner someone again, bribe them into, you know, into manipulating things for him. And for how long are we going to do this? I mean, so um, people actually saw our chief justice of Nigeria, you know, on wheelchair, you know, he pretended to be an old disabled man, you know, going for a meeting behind closed doors with Tinubu. Can you imagine that? And the whole world is watching. The whole world is watching all of this. I'm sure they will be laughing at Nigeria that when are we going to become transparent in everything we do? When are we going to get serious as a country and be devoted to you know, good governance. Imagine the head of the Supreme Court, head of Supreme Court, you know, head of Supreme Court doing this again. I mean, if judiciary, which happens to be our last hope, is also compromised, then what will become the hope of Nigerians? <laughs> that means Nigerians are hopeless if the judiciary too is being bought over by Tinubu and put in his pocket. Tinubu has virtually bought over almost every head of institution right now. We even understand that the head of high neck, Mahmoud, Yakubu Mahmoud, was recommended by Tinubu. It was Tinubu that recommended it for, for that appointment. So why won't he rig election in favor of Tinubu? I mean, this Tinubu has done so much to destroy our democracy. And this might be the last straw of the havoc is going to cause in Nigeria because people will get to the bottom of this if this is true. 
I mean, this will go out there. The world will point torchlight at the judiciary and we must end all of this. Thank you.